up in a tree hanging down from above? A beehive busily buzzing God's love. Papa bee, mama bee, chubby, and Bree buzzing God's way. Take a look and you'll see. Bree was a buzzing all over the place. Around and round, in and out, what a race. She buzzed to the bottom and back to the top. She buzzed like a train and just wouldn't stop. All of a sudden, in flew a ball and hit Bree knocking her into the wall. Chubby buzzed in yelling. Where'd that ball go? It flew right by me. Kobe throws like a pro. He looked down near Bree. My ball is right there. He grabbed it and buzzed off without a care. Bree lay there holding her wing and her head. Are you okay, Bree? Her papa said. I can't believe Chubby hit me like that. And not say he's sorry, that little rat. Bree buzzed straight up with a glare in her eye. I'll get him back. But then Papa asked, Why? Didn't you see what he did? Bree did fume. Chubby hit me and just buzzed out the room. He didn't care that he hit me at all. All he cares about is that dumb ball. Wait just a minute. Let's think this thing through before you do something you shouldn't do. Papa is right, Mama said. Let's just think. Why would Chubby hit you and not even blink? I know the reason, Bree tried to explain. He doesn't like when I buzz like a train. Maybe, said Papa. He's just playing ball and doesn't know you got knocked to the wall. He had to know. Bree snapped right away. He saw me hurting and just flew away. He didn't even ask if I was okay. What he did was wrong and he has to pay. Papa looked at Bree and shook his bee head. Bree, be a peacemaker. That's what he said. Bree, come with me. Papa buzzed with a frown to flowers nearby so Bree would calm down. What's a peacemaker? Bree asked so sincere. A bee that makes peace when trouble is near. Just like God did in a world full of sin. He sent Jesus to make peace once again. Bree started thinking of God up above, how much he hates sin and still gave his love. To bring peace on earth is why Jesus came. That's God's way, thought Bree. So I'll do the same. God's word says he loves us, though we do wrong too. So we do our best to let his love shine through. God's love doesn't try to make others pay. Just be a peacemaker. That is God's way. Up in a tree hanging down from above, a beehive busily buzzing God's love. Papa bee, mama bee, chubby and Bree buzzing God's way. Take a look, and you'll see. The beehive swayed back and forth from the wind. When there is a storm, bees know to stay in. Papa and Mama and Chubby were home, but Bree was out in the storm all alone. Chubby was worried. Papa, what should we do? Papa was quiet a moment or two. Mama buzzed softly. We'll just speak God's word. Like a brave bee, Chubby did what he heard. God, you are with us. Yes, you never leave. And you are with Bree. That's what we believe. 
Though she's out in the storm, she's not alone. Wherever she is, please help her get home. Amen, said Papa. I'm proud of you, son. A courageous bee declares God's will be done. God's will is good, because his word tells us so. We believe it and speak it so faith can grow. A minute ago, I was too scared to speak. Your words helped me, son. My faith's no longer weak. Papa, Mama, and Chubby kept praying. God's promises were all they were saying. Off in the distance, they barely could see. In the rain, something flying. A bumbly bee. Bree buzzed in soggy, her eyes full of tears. Mama Bee held her amidst all the cheers. You're home now, dear Bree, Mama Bee gently said as she laid Bree down on her bumblebee bed. It was awful, said Bree. She tried to explain. I started crying when it started to rain. I thought the storm would keep me from flying. I might not get home, so I started crying. With thunder and lightning and rain all around, a couple of times it knocked me to the ground. And all I could think was, I'm gonna die! I could drown in a puddle. That made me cry. All of a sudden, my bee wings were flapping. The falling rain is what my wings were slapping. It seemed there was something that carried me home. Like someone was praying. I wasn't alone. Think Chubby, said Papa. Our courageous bee. He was speaking God's word better than me. And there buzzed Chubby, a tear in his eye. Angels, Mama buzzed, must have helped you to fly. Next time you're scared and your heart's full of doubt, be courageous. Speak God's word out your mouth. Bree hugged Chubby and said, You're the best. And Chubby thought, Me? As Bree laid down to rest. All I really did was believe in my heart. The hard stuff was God doing his part. I just do my best to do things God's way. Speaking God's word courageously every day. Up in a tree hanging down from above. A beehive busily buzzing God's love. Papa Bee, Mama Bee, Chubby, and Bree, buzzing God's way. Take a look and you'll see. Chubby buzzed home like he usually does. Straight home from school. Hear him buzz, 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 buzz. Mama was waiting. Her face had a frown. When her bee son Chubby buzzed in to sit down, Chubby, said Mama. How was school today? Fine, Chubby answered. Can my friends come and play? About that, said Mama. Did you invite Pen? No way, Chubby buzzed. That bee's not my friend. Pen and his family were new around town. They lived in a hive not far off the ground. It's not a safe place for a young bee to play. So every bee mom told their bees, Stay away! Stay away! Stay away! And so at bee school, all alone you'd see Pen. They all stayed away. No one tried to make friends. So every day after school, Pen would cry. His mama would ask, but Pen wouldn't say why. Hold on, Mama buzzed. Why not let Pen come? Cuz, Chubby answered. You know where he's from? He lives in a hive not far from the ground. He's skinny, so no one wants him around. No one? Asked Mama. Like your other bee friends? That's right, Chubby answered. Nobody likes Pin, because we've never seen a bee quite as thin. Pin is so skinny, he looks like a 
a pin. Well, I know someone that thinks pin is great. His name is Jesus. Then Chubby's heart sank. Chubby knew Jesus loved every bee. And Chubby knew he was not being friendly. I haven't been behaving nice, Chubby said. He closed his bee eyes and bowed his bee head. Jesus, I'm sorry, Mama heard Chubby pray. From now on, I'm going to be friendly God's way. Mama? Asked Chubby. If it is okay, I'd like to ask Pin to come over and play. Do I need to tell you what her answer was? It was yes, and then off Chubby did buzz. That afternoon, Chubby made a new friend. It wasn't too long till his best friend was Pin. He gave Pin a chance and learned Pin was cool. Now Pin doesn't cry when he gets home from school. Up in a tree hanging down from above, a beehive busily buzzing God's love. Papa Bee, Mama Bee, Chubby and Bree buzzing God's way. Take a look and you'll see. Be kind! Was the thought stuck in Bree's head? When you're feeling mean, just be kind instead. Feeling too busy to lend folks a hand? Taking a moment to be kind is grand. When Bree saw Annie Ant running around, crying, though nowhere to be found. Annie Ant didn't know just outside her view. Mom and Dad were running round, looking for her too. Bree quickly helped Annie Ant find her way, an act of kindness Bree did that day. All back together, they cried, Bree, thank, thank you. you. I'm happy to help. Bree replied as she flew, and then Barney Beetle tipped Orr on his back. His legs were kicking. I'm stuck in this crack. God, he's so big. And I know I'm small. But I can't buzz off doing nothing at all. Bree quickly prayed. Lord, I'm in a bind. I need to help Barney. I want to be kind. And then an idea just popped up in Bree. Using her stinger, she flipped Barney free. When Krabby Crow's wing was bunched in a knot, Bree tried to help. Krabby got rather hot. You're just a bee. What good can you do? The knot in my wing is bigger than you. I'll pray. Bree answered as she bowed her head. That knot has to go. Wing, be healed instead. In Jesus' name, I pray for Krabby Crow. The wing straightened out. The knot had to go. Krabby Crow marveled how Bree was so kind. And Barney Beetle, now off his behind, Annie and Mom and Dad Ant all agree. They'd never met anyone kinder than Bree. Kindness is God's way. Bree tried to explain. God sent us Jesus, who bore all our pain. He carried our sins as he died on that tree. The best act of kindness for you and for me. Now every Sunday, Krabby Crow lands with Barney Beetle and a family of ants to learn about Jesus like Bree taught them to. When given a chance to be kind, they do. Up in a tree hanging down from above, a beehive busily buzzing God's love. Papa Bee, Mama Bee, Chubby and Bree buzzing God's way. Take a look and you'll see. Chubby buzzed home, his wings were all droopy. Chubby felt bad and his eyes looked soupy. Soupy from crying, his tears in a puddle, 
he hid in his room, his head in a muddle. At supper time, Mama, Papa, and Bree buzzed around wondering, Where could he be? They looked in the honey pot, looked in his bed, they looked round the tree and scratched their bee heads. Where is that chubby? They quietly thought. Then Papa heard something that made the thought stop. <laughs> It was like a sob from a heart broken. Chubby? They called, but nothing was spoken. They buzzed to his room for another good look and found Chubby crying under a book. Chubby? Mama called. Please tell me what's wrong. Why are you crying? Have you been here long? Mama? Sobbed Chubby. I did something bad. I just can't stop crying and feeling so sad. While on my way home, I pulled a zinger. A little kid got poked with my stinger. I wasn't watching, twas an accident. The kid's really hurt and my stinger is bent. Accidents happen, Papa said with a smile. A stinger that bent I've not seen in a while. Papa? Scolded Mama. You're no help at all. Why don't you and Bree just buzz down the hall? You're missing the point if you think it's funny. Chubby's been crying. His bee nose is runny. So after they left, Mama looked at her bee. Why were you crying and hiding from me? Not knowing what's wrong, how can I help you? Together, we'll figure out what we can do. Chubby spoke softly. Mama, I'm a good bee, but I'm worried that God might be mad at me. I should have been paying attention. Instead, I stung that boy, stung him right in the head. I left him there crying, not sure what to do. But I should have prayed for him, Mama, like you. Chubby, said Mama, God is not mad. It's true even when we have been acting bad. God doesn't like it whenever we sin, but he always loves us again and again. Jesus was punished for your sins and mine. Because of him, God loves us all the time. Now there is peace between God and men. That peace comes to us when we're born again. Chubby asked, Is it true? God's not mad at me? Never, said Mama most confidently. What about when we don't do things God's way? Even then, Mama answered, God doesn't sway, but it's never too late to do the right thing. Mama smiled at Chubby. You know what I mean? Without thinking, Chubby started to pray. Little boy, be healed and pain go away. In Jesus' name, Chubby added, Amen. I'm thankful for God's peace and goodwill to men. Up in a tree hanging down from above, a beehive busily buzzing God's love. Papa Bee, Mama Bee, Chubby and Bree Buzzing God's way. Take a look and you'll see. Why? Bree asked Mama. Tell me, why do we pray? And why do we always do things God's way? And why do we buzz off to church each weekend? Please, Mama, tell me why is Jesus my friend? And why do we sing songs to God up above? And why does the Bible tell us God is love? These are the questions I'm having today. Please, Mama, please tell me why. Bree did say. Chubby buzzed up. Bree, leave Mama alone. Quit asking her questions. She just got home. She's tired from buzzing and just needs to rest. Your questions are dumb. You're being a pest. Chubby. Scolded Mama. That just isn't true. I like all Bree's questions. I like all yours, too. We must keep learning. Be teachable, I say. Keep asking questions. Ask questions each day. But Mama, said Chubby, then let out a sigh. All she keeps asking is why, 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 why? I'm tired of her asking these questions at rhyme. 
It makes my bee brain flip out all the time. Mama just smiled as she went on to say, Chubby, be teachable. It's always God's way. Bree's asking questions because she wants to know. Learning is what helps our little minds grow. When Jesus was little, he wanted to know all about God so his spirit could grow. And as he grew older, he learned from above that he was the Savior, God's gift of love. If he wasn't teachable, he'd never had known that he came to die for our sins all alone. High on a cross so that we could become children of God by accepting God's Son. Chubby buzzed in. Hey, I just had a thought. If I never learned about God, I could not have ever asked Jesus in my heart to stay. And I wouldn't know how to do things God's way. I'm sorry, Bree. Chubby started to cry. I won't complain the next time you ask why. I just remembered how I used to be. So if you have a question, you can ask me. Up in a tree hanging down from above, a beehive busily buzzing God's love. Papa Bee, Mama Bee, Chubby, and Bree buzzing God's way. Take a look and you'll see. Chubby was happy. His birthday arrived with Grandma's birthday gift in his beehive. Gifts from my grandma are always the best. He figured this gift was like all the rest. He poked in his stinger, swished his bee tail, and all of the wrapping on the gift just fell. He looked at the gift that had just been unwrapped. That's when his face looked like he had been zapped. Oh no! Buzzed Chubby as loud as he could. This gift, I don't like it. This gift is no good. It's good that your grandma is nowhere around to hear you cry and plop on the ground. Chubby, warned Mama, your behavior's bad. If Grandma was here, I'm sure she'd be sad. There's never a reason to behave this way. Always be thankful, especially today. But Mama, cried Chubby, look what I got. Not just one worm, Mama, I got a lot. Worms? Mama gasped. Oh, that's not right at all. The bee should be thankful. Give Grandma a call. No way. Chubby started to protest the thought. I cannot say thank you for worms. I will not. That would be lying, and it's wrong to lie. How can I be thankful for worms? How can I? Chubby, said Mama, when you get a present, it's because someone loves you. So just be pleasant. It's not for the gift that you tell them thank you. It's knowing God loves you, and that bee does too. You know Grandma loves you. Chubby just smiled. I'll call Grandma now. As he started to dial. Grandma, said Chubby. I just called to say, thanks for the gift you got for my birthday. Grandma just laughed, <laughs> and then she laughed some more. <laughs> she finally asked, What are you thankful for? That gift wasn't for you, don't you know? Those worms you got were for my bird friend, Crow. So what did you get me? Chubby's face beamed. One of them jerseys from the Hornets ball team and a ball signed by the Hornets star player. Thank you, Grandma, Chubby said with a prayer. You're welcome, Chubby, Grandma went on to say. Why did you thank me for worms, by the way? Because, Chubby answered, I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful you love me, and God loves me too. The party continued. It was all great. Trick candles, party games, and birthday cake. And for each present, he was thankful that day. Because being thankful, that is God's way. <laughs>